Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about CS card Aden payment gateway. Aden is a very popular globalized payment gateway. This enables the new payment gateway at your store. This also enables the merchants to accept payments from anywhere in the world and it provides a global payment solution. For the online demonstration regarding the product, you can go to our webpool store and click on this demo button. And for the documentation regarding the same please go through the user guide manual provided at the store let us now proceed towards the installation part of this add-on coming to the admin panel this is my admin panel go to add-ons tab and click on manage add-ons now click on this plus button to upload and install a new add-on and click on local to browse the zip file for agent payment gateway add-on Select the zip file and click on upload and install. Once the add-on is installed successfully, you need to configure the add-on settings. Let us search this add-on. This is my add-on payment gateway installed add-on. To manage, click on this settings drop down and click on settings. Here you need to enter the credentials which you can get via add-on payment gateway here you need to enter the merchant account username password client encryption key for the inline payment form hosted client encryption token and the last is to choose the mode of the payment here you can either choose test or live mode as per your business requirement and once these settings are made you can click on this save button let us now see how you can get these credentials from aden for that you need to go to the aden's test site and need to create a account on the aden site this is my test aden sites once you have created the aden account you need to log in to this account by entering these account detail username and password let us log in to the test account for aden once you log in the aden test account successfully go to this settings button to get the api credentials now click on the users to manage the users here you can view the associated account to this user are these listed over here click on the name to view the details of the users here you can get each and every information for your apis to get the username you can see over here to generate a new password click on this generate password and the password generated will be shown over here you can copy it from here and paste it at the back end configuration of your addon to get the account merchant account you can select the merchant account from here the next is encryption keys here you can get the client encryption public keys click on this to copy the key the next is the library token which you can get it from here encryption token which was hosted client side encryption token copy this token from here and you can easily paste or paste it over in the configuration of the addon if you want to add the outside that is hpp form for your aden payment you need to create a skin for the form let us go to the skins option provided over here click on this create a new skin to add a new if you have already added you can get the details from here the skin code you can easily get it from here this is my skin code and this is the hmac keys click on the generate new hmac key to generate a new one and you can copy it from here and paste it in the configuration setting to add the hpp form for your aden payments this is how you can get the aden credentials let us now get back to the admin panel this is my admin panel now you need to add a new payment method for this payment gateway for that you need to go to the administration tab and click on this payment methods 
click on this plus button to add a new payment method here you need to enter the mandatory details to create a new payment method here you can add the name of the payment method let us add a den inline for the inline payment and choose the template to be cc underscore aden this is cc underscore aden dot tpl the next is to choose the processor for your aden let us choose the aden payment gateway processor the next is to enter the payment category you can choose the credit card to be the payment category and by filling all the mandatory details you can switch to the configure tab to configure the payment gateway the first option over here is to set the default currency here you can choose the default currency for your aden payment method this currency will be the aden's default currency for making the payment if the customer chooses any aden unsupported currency then the default currency will be used instead of the chosen currency the next is to save the aden response if you want to save the response at the back end you can enable it by checking this box the next is to set the status for the order which have been passed through the successful payments that is for the successful transactions you can select the status over here and the failed transaction you can select the status from here once it is done you need to click on the create button here you can view that the aden payment inline will be added over here and in a similar way you can add a payment gateway for hpp that is for outside payment forms for that let us give a name to be aden outside let us say to differentiate it from the inside payment the next is to choose the processor and the template let us choose the template for this to be cc underscore outside dot tpl and the processor to be a day in payment once you enter these mandatory details let us now switch back to the configure tab to configure the add-on again you need to enter the mandatory details to configure it these are the configuration fields which need to be filled the first one is again the default currency choose the default currency for this the next is to choose the sale method you can either select the single page payment or the multiple page payment for the checkout process the next is to enter the skin code this skin code and the hmac keys can be easily get through the api keys from the aden payments the next is to enter the shipping days here you need to enter the number of days of the shipment how many days it will take to deliver a product the next is to choose the order status for the successful transactions failed transaction and the pending transaction once these settings are made and the keys have been added successfully you need to click on this create button to add this payment gateway here you can view that the aden's outside or you can either say aden skin for this have been added here you need to edit it you can easily edit it from here this is how you can edit and click on the save button once the configuration has been made at the back end let us now see how at the front end a user can purchase via aden payments this is my front end panel let us add a product to the cart and purchase it via aden click on add to cart button continue with the checkout continue with the shipping options present the next is to enter the billing options over here select the aden inline for the inline payments or for the aden skin you can choose the aden skin once you select the payment method you need to enter the card details over here and click on submit the order button once you submit the order it will be listed in the order details let us now see how 
an admin can refund for the orders via add-on payment. Here you can view the list of the orders in the orders list at the back end. Click on the order ID. Here you will be able to view the payment response from the add-on payment. And if you want to refund for this particular order, you can either choose the full refund option or the partial refund option. Here you need to enter the refund amount and click on this refund button provided over here. This is how an admin can easily refund via add-on payments. And to manage the refunds, he can also go to this marketing tab and click on this add-on refund option provided over here. Let us click on this. Here an admin will be able to view all the refund logs over here. He can also add the refund via this option by clicking on this plus button. And he can easily make a refund by entering the order ID and the amount of refund and clicking on this refund button. This is how an admin can easily refund and add in payment gateway works. Thank you so much for watching.